Your ideas help move this country. You are the American Innovator. Hi everyone, Paul Akers with The American Innovator and welcome back. You know, we've been doing our series every 30 days, a significant opportunity passed in front of every human being. Are you awake? This week it's the Snake River in Lewiston, Idaho. My good buddy Morgan invited me to go down there and jet boat up the world-class Snake River and we had a great time. And Morgan's friend, Ryan Rogers, who owns Rogers Toyota and is a world-class jet boat racer himself, set this whole thing up for us. And we went up the river with their guides, Chad and Eric, and we just had a fantastic time. This has actually been on my bucket list to go on this. Look at this, a supercharged engine. Man, this is every guy's dream. So we had a great time. The scenery was spectacular. The weather was perfect. Eric and Chad did a fantastic job guiding. Morgan did a great job driving the boat. And we just had a great time getting exceptional footage with my eye pole and just enjoying the whole day and seeing what world-class boating is all about because people actually come from all over the world to experience this level of boating. This is an exceptional river and as we go up the river, the river starts to narrow a little bit, the canyons get a little bit steeper, the water gets a little more treacherous if you will and we stop here to fill out a permit to continue up the Snake River and the next stop is going up to a place called the Slide. And the slide is really an unusual spot. It's where the river has been choked off because a big slide happened maybe 20, 30 years ago. And it's coming up real quick here, you're gonna see it. And Chad explains to me that this is a very treacherous part of the river. This is not for amateurs. And you really can't go over the slide unless the water's just right, otherwise it'd be suicidal. But we continue up the river and it just gets a little more treacherous. Everything gets a little steeper, a little more dramatic. And here we are coming up on it right now. fighting and trying to get up there. We're just approaching it right now. You'll start to see it come into view. A series of intense rapids right there. And I asked Eric, can we go up over those? And he said, only if you want to commit suicide. It is crazy. back down the river and entered into Hell's Gates. Now this is a beautiful spot. The water was very tranquil, but of course it picked up and got a little more intense as we went along. And then we came to this beautiful cave and we got out of the boat and hiked up to the cave. And it's actually a mine shaft, but for the most part, they mine copper up here. They're always looking for gold, but for the most part, they didn't find it. We hiked up there real quick, went inside, and then came back down. But there's a lot of interesting geological findings along the Snake River Canyons and up in Hell's Gate. And we just had a great time looking around, having fun, enjoying the great weather, and continued up the river. Now, this time when we went up the river, we came across some rafters. And this is really cool. We met a guy named Bob and Kathy. Now Bob has been on the river for 40 years and we handed Bob the eye pole, or should I say we handed Kathy the eye pole, so we could get a film or footage of what it was like to actually be on the river in a raft. And Bob was amazing because he's been doing this for 41 years and he told a bunch of stories and gave us a lot of information. It was just very interesting and great people to get to meet. And of course we're going to send him the video when we're done. And he told me, you know, the interesting thing is he's been doing this for all these years and he has very little footage of him actually being on the river. So hey, we're gonna change that now. And our next stop was we're going back down the river and we're gonna to go to Chad's house. And Chad has a really cool little cabin on the water here with a great little sandy beach and we hike up there. four-wheel drive and he takes me up into the, one of the small feeder canyons and we go up and look around and then of course we've got to finally go home after a great day we had a great day wow perfect weather perfect conditions again Chad and Eric did an exceptional job guiding us in their supercharged boat and we just had a great time and then when we get towards the bottom of the river Morgan has to mess around and we had the best time he's doing loop-de-loops in the, in the boat and we are just well we're being boys 
All I can say is this was on my bucket list to go up the Snake River and Hell's Canyon. And I can't believe I got to do it sooner than later because of Morgan and because of Ryan and Chad and Eric. They made this opportunity. So I got my plane, I flew back home. And there you have it, another American innovator. Remember, life's an adventure and every 30 days, a significant opportunity passes in front of every human being. The question is, are you awake? Well, that's the American innovator and we'll see you next week. The American Innovator has been brought to you by FastCap. To hear more, just go to theamericaninnovator.com.